the evil master villain's plan has worked. The city is ruined, the taps have run dry, and those who are left fight for the remaining resources. Sounds like the end to a superhero film gone wrong. But these aren't the workings of a criminal mastermind. These are actual consequences that could come from the mismanagement of water. But wait, the credits haven't rolled just yet. To the rescue come a force of real-life superheroes, ready to fight back floods, deter drought, and bring environmental order back to our cities. Enter Yuande Akinola. She's an engineer with pioneering solutions to guard our galaxy, or at least our cities, from the threat of too much or too little water. Water is vital to life. We drink it, we clean with it, we even make energy with it. Our vision is to create a different kind of city, one that's able to store and reuse water in entirely new ways. In fact, in China, there's a really ambitious goal. They want to get 80% of their urban areas absorbing and reusing 70% of rainwater. They call it a sponge city. Imagine our roofs with plants and scenic wetlands, all able to capture and reuse rainwater. Even the streets under our feet have a role to play. We want to create permeable pavements that store runoff water and hold on to it. We can even use artificial intelligence to predict what parts of the city need water the most and get it to them. Creating that future, giving people happy, comfortable spaces where they can be the best that they want to be is probably what I enjoy the most about my job. It's predicted that by 2050, 70% of the world's population will be living in cities. Which means the type of superheroes we really need aren't those wearing capes and jumping off buildings, but the people who helped to design and build them in the first place. <laughs>